Hello guys, my name is Marcy and today we'll be doing a what's in my pencil case video. These are the two pencil cases I'll be showing you guys today. This first pencil case is a angled pencil case from Amazon. The second pencil case is a so easy pencil case also from Amazon that I got in pink. Well, they're both pink because I really like the color. And I will have everything linked in the description box below. So let's start off with the So Easy pencil case. I have some buttons on the outside. This is It the Clown from a comic book store, Mechanical Gaming, a Coraline one from my sister, and a game controller one from my friends. So let's start opening up the bigger one. In the bigger compartment, it's one big pocket with two side pockets. This is where I keep all my wires and chargers that I need to take to school that day. So let's start off with the first wire. This is my iPhone charger. I usually take any close charger that I have near me to school. Next up, I have my Arduino Uno cable. I had to use this for school because I was working with an Arduino Uno. I found it interesting. It wasn't the easiest topic to cover, but it was fun. The only issue with this cable is that it is USB and my Mac only carries USB-C so I had to carry around this USB-C to USB adapter. But next up we have this Comella measuring tape. It is 16 feet. I had to measure a lot this semester because I was designing like 3D prints. So this came in handy when I was sketching out my ideas first. And the last thing I have in this bigger compartment are my Apple earbuds. I take these to school with me in case my AirPods ever die. And that's it in the bigger compartment. In the side pocket, I actually have nothing in here. But if I ever needed to take safety goggles to school, I'll put them in there. Moving on to my favorite part, this is where I keep all of my pens. These are Micron Fineliner pens. They come in the sizes 12, 10.8, 0.5, 0.3, and 0.1. I use these to line every sketch that I use or I also use them for bullet journaling, which you guys will see in my next video. These are my favorite Castell pens. I couldn't tell you the sizes of these because it's different. They're not numbers. It's like B, S, C. These are artist pens. I use them also for bullet journaling and because they have a thicker brush, I use them to fill in spaces. This is a Pentel pocket brush. I am trying to do better in calligraphy. I suck at it, <laughs> but um, I am trying. This is from Jet Pens, by the way. I, again, I will link everything so you guys can check it out. Next up, I have my Tombow brush pens. These were recommended to me from a friend. I use these also to fill in and again to practice calligraphy because right now I'm not that good at it. That's <laughs> about it for that side of the pencil case. I am now fast forwarding so that you guys can see how I arrange everything back together. I am very picky about how I put things back, so this is how. And there's also a space in the middle for my laptop charger, but right now I am using it, so that's why it didn't appear. And that's it for this pencil case. Now moving on to the second pencil case. This is a angled pencil case. On the Amazon link, it says East Hill, but I'm going to refer to it as Angle. Unfortunately, this puzzle case does have a stain on it from putting a water bottle in my book bag. And this keychain is from another pencil case, but other than that, it looks great. The back is a little scuffed from putting it on different desks and using it in the workshop. Before we open her up, there is a front pocket. In here, I keep this Faber Castell pen. It is in point 0.3 or S for small. I use this pen for journaling since it is such a precise point. 
and when I journal in public I don't want like people to see it so I'll write really small with this pen so now let's actually open the main compartment of this pencil case on the left side it's a zipper compartment it says angle on the zipper as well and here I put my leads in I need a lot of them and you'll see why later I have this Westcott ruler it is really helpful to measure although I use my measuring tape more to measure and I use this more for like lines and stuff and then I have 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 and leads there is a reason why I need all these leads I'll show you guys later in the video and I also have refillable erasers although I don't really like using the eraser parts of the mechanical pencil I instead have two different types of erasers that you'll see and now on the right side this is actually a flap and here I keep my singular pen I hate using pen I don't like writing a pen for my notes or anything really but in case I need this then I have it this is a uniball jet stream pen in point 38 it comes with a pack of different colors but this is the one that I chose I also have all these mild liners. I bought these in a pack, I think, of 24, but I chose these three colors for three different classes that needed physical notes. So I'll use the gray one for subtext and the three main colors for the subject's color. These mild liners also come in two points. I'll use the chisel point for highlighting and the fine point for underlining. I also use these to bullet journal which you guys will see in my next video. They're great highlighters. I've been using them since high school, five years now. This is my favorite tape runner. I got it off of Amazon. This is the best tape runner that I've used. I use this for bullet journaling or for sticking notes in my notebook. When I bullet journal, I usually use these to stick like um, pictures in my memory log or sticking colored paper into my pages. Next up, I have this Kokoyo Campus Correction Tape. Again, I hate using pen, but if I ever need correction tapes, then I have this. It is super small, but it works, you know. <laughs> it's like any other correction tape. I got that off of jet pens. Then this is my Tombow Mono Stick Eraser. I use these for small details. Again, I do sketch a lot, so I do have to have erasers on hand. This is for any small details that I want to get rid of. I also got this off of jet pens. Next up, we have my Muji Block Eraser. This is the size large, I believe and i have been using this since well like f seven years now it is great i love this eraser it works well now let's move on to my pentel graph gear a thousand mechanical pencils these are great i love sketching with these pencils they're also weighted so they feel a lot better when you're using them and there is a small eraser on the top which is why i would need those refillable erasers even though I don't like to use them. Here is the 0.3, look how thin that is. I usually use this pencil when I am first drafting a sketch so I don't make any harsh lines. And then here is the 0.9 in comparison to the 0.3, look how thick that is. I use this when it's like a final pencil sketch or in order to show different objects that are on top of each other. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this product. It is one of the best mechanical pencils I've ever used. But yeah, that's all in my angle pencil case. And I also wanted to show that this pencil case can actually become bigger. If you open up the zipper and you push out the bottom, it could become deeper. I would use this if I needed to take extra materials to school, but I don't really need to. Everything that I usually take to school is laid out. 
But yeah, it's super cool. I like this pencil case a lot. Would also recommend it. And that's all for what's in this pencil case. And before I forget, I also wanted to mention that if, if you clip this clipper on the pencil, then the point can actually go inside the pencil so that way you don't like accidentally stab somebody or so that your pencil case doesn't get any marks on it, which is really helpful. The only problem is that it is a little loud. So now let's fast forward exactly how I put it all together. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see me use these materials, then I will probably be using most of them in my next video, which will be a bullet journal setup for 2023. Hope to see you guys there. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.